Hi everyone, welcome to your daily pick a card for Thursday, January 5th. I hope everyone is doing well. Happy New Year. If you're just joining, welcome in. So take a second or a few minutes here to focus on which card it is that you want to select today. If you need a few minutes to think about it, go ahead and pause the video now. Let's begin. Card one is the Hanged Man, a major arcana here. So I absolutely love to see this card. You know, it's definitely powerful because it's about learning to see things differently, but also about letting go and trusting that, you know, Whatever it is, whether it's trusting in God, spirit, divine, universe, whatever it is you believe in, that you know it's going to lead you to a beautiful and a better outcome here. And it's, it's also a sense of surrendering, right? Because when we let go of the need to control and figure out outcomes and, you know, if you're a type of person where you have to have everything planned out, you know, spirit wants you to know sometimes you need to understand that, you know, controlling things hinders you more, you know, because your expectations for a certain outcome, you know, even though there may be a similar outcome or a great outcome, it just might not look the way you want. So it's just about releasing here and surrendering. It's like... And everything's going to happen at the perfect timing. So, you know, and yeah, some of you are certainly in like a limbo phase. So spirit definitely wants you to know, okay, just take deep breaths, relax, and know that when you release and you surrender the control, needing to know the outcome, whatever that is and whatever that means to you, progress is going to is definitely going to move forward and happen much faster. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you tomorrow. Card two is the seven of swords. So don't panic being that you see this card because, you know, people look at this automatically. Oh, you know, lying, cheating, stealing, you know, people being um, dishonest, okay? But what I'm getting here, you know, swords are all about truth. And the energy I'm getting with this today is that, you know, you really need to be honest with yourself here and accept that, you know, things are the way they are at the current moment. But at the same time, it's, you know, things are having to play out in a certain way, but also depending on your um, actions, your free will, right? Your, that can definitely maybe put some delays in place, okay? So think about the tactics you, you know, um, you use for things, whether it's with other people, whether it's people at work, whether it's, you know, maybe you need to go a better route of handling things. And that's not a negative, right? Because we all can improve on something in our lives. And it's, you know, maybe you need to question your intentions, you know, to others. Because maybe those people aren't trustworthy. So I think it's really, truly about reflection here and, you know, being able to see the cold, hard truth, because I am getting the feeling that, you know, in this image here, this guy is trying to take away the swords from his enemies so they don't, you know, they have less armor to fight with. So think about how that relates into your life. What things are you doing and how are you doing them? And is it the right way? And this can certainly go for someone else's intentions. You know, are they, are they doing something for their own good and not for you? Are they sincere? 
So just think about that. So I hope this helped. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you tomorrow. Card three is the page of wands. So, you know, pages, yes, they're about messages, but with the, the wands, it's all about action and excitement, enthusiasm, passion here for sure. It's, you know, a lot of you are trying to get into the place of being excited about things again, you know, being passionate about things. I think we get so bogged down in the day to day that we lose sight of our happiness and we just become monotonous in the same routine every day. And spirit's trying to say, like, don't like spice things up a little bit at some point. You have to step outside your comfort zone. You know, look, what are things that excite you? And don't necessarily look at challenges as bad things because those can really bring some good things to you. So when you get a challenge or there's something that comes along, you know, just put some pep in your step and, and, and take it on and like, and tell yourself, I got this, I can do this, you know? Um, and you know, it, it's like, don't say no to everything. You want to be open-minded, be more open-minded so you can start seeing things coming towards you. Don't be very, you know, I'm getting the sense like don't be black or white. You know, you have to have some gray area here. So, but I definitely feel like maybe some of you need to go on a vacation or rest a little bit here. I think, you know, it's like some of you are drained from things that have happened in the past or recently happened, okay? Take it as it resonates. And Spirit wants you to, you know, is just kind of reiterating, like, it's a new year, be a new you, it's a new adventure, nails the time, take action, and do the things that truly make you happy, okay? I hope this helped. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.